Hey guys, this is Richard. In this video, I want to take you guys through a neighborhood tour of the Woodbridge neighborhood in Irvine. I'm going to go over the different types of properties that you could actually purchase from single family, condos, and townhouses. But also, if you're looking to rent, there's also apartments available within the neighborhood as well. Now, another thing I'm going to go over is the different schools within the neighborhood from elementary schools, middle schools, and high school in that area. I'm also going to go over the parks and recreational areas that you have available within that neighborhood. And not only that, but the shops entertainment center that you have access to without actually leaving the Woodbridge neighborhood. Let's get started with the video. All right, guys. So the first thing I want to talk about is the cost of single family homes in the Woodbridge neighborhood. Now you are looking at anywhere between 800,000 and up. If it's a condo or a townhouse, you're definitely going to pay somewhere around that price range. If you're looking at a single family home, you're definitely going to pay over a million dollars. I just sold the property in that Woodbridge neighborhood and it sold for 1.32. And that was a four bedroom, two bath, uh, 1900 square feet, roughly on a 5,700 square foot lot, right? So just to give you an idea in regards to that, but there are homes in that area that are selling for up to $2 million. Depends on how close the home it actually is to the lake area. Now it's the lake area, it is subdivided or divided into North Lake and South Lake. So, and not only that, but also inside the loop or outside the loop. And what I mean by the loop is a yellow loop, which wraps around the Woodbridge neighborhood being inside the loop versus the outside outside the loop actually makes a difference on how much you're actually going to pay. Now, when it comes to condos and townhouses, this is another thing that you guys also have to think about if you are considering moving into the Woodbridge neighborhood or purchasing in the Woodbridge neighborhood. When it comes to condos and townhouses, you're going to have two different HOAs. Even though the whole community is the same HOA, which would be the Woodbridge Village uh, Homeowners Association, it, the HOA fees will vary. There's some areas, uh, like the property that I sold there, it only had $105 uh, HOA fee. And this was a single family home. The other properties have two different HOAs and they could range anywhere from $325 for one HOA and the second HOA would be roughly about a hundred plus dollars as well. So you would be looking at over $400 in HOA fees. Just remember if you are thinking about purchasing a condo or a single family house or a townhouse in this neighborhood, uh, you will be paying HOA fees. And like I said a little bit earlier, uh, they do vary from subdivision of the neighborhood. So in some cases it's a single family home, uh, that's not a gated community and you can pay as low as $105 a month or a condo or a townhouse where you're going to end up paying $350 plus on one HOA and $100 plus on another HOA. So you're definitely going to be looking at paying up over $400 on two HOAs together. On um, some of the single family homes that are available there as well that are gated communities, your HOA will also be just as high or a little bit higher. So there are gated communities and there's communities that are just open. Either way, guys, this is a great community if you guys are looking to move in because you have a family, you're looking for great schools. And I'll get to the schools next, but it is a great area. And I'll go over why it might be the area for you, depending on your lifestyle. If you're a family, if you're somebody who's attending maybe the University of Irvine, this actually might be a better place to live than closer to the university because of the access that you have to get to the university. But I'll get to that. Before I continue to the next section, if you guys are interested in relocating to the Woodbridge area and you're looking to buy, whether it be a single family, a townhouse, or a condo, reach out to me. I would love to help you guys out, find the right property that fits your budget. Let's continue. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the schools that are available for you if you live within this community. Now, you do have two middle schools on each side of the lake. On north side, you have two, two elementary schools, one middle school, and on the other side, which is South Lake, you also have two elementary schools and one middle school. Now the community also shares one high school, which would be Woodbridge High School, which is a great high school. And all of these schools are rated really high, as you guys can see here. So it's either way, whether you're looking, to, uh, looking for a safe neighborhood or you're looking for a neighborhood that actually has great schools, this is really great. 
But the next thing I want to talk to you guys about, aside from the schools being, you know, great uh, schools and great neighborhood, the access that you have from north and south, that's probably my favorite part when it comes to this particular community of Woodbridge is one of the things that I always talk about when I'm walking around any neighborhood and about to cross a major street or intersection. I always say, why couldn't they build a bridge? In this particular community, it actually has a bridge or bridges that cross all the major streets within that community. And that's the reason why I think that's probably one of my favorite uh, communities, just because of the bridges it actually has in the parks and recreational areas within that small community. Let me show you guys. As you guys can see on the north, this is the north side of the lake. And the north side of the lake has little walk paths that you could actually go around the lake from one section of it. Uh, on the other side, there's a lot of condos and single family homes and gated communities that actually sit right on the shore, just like on the other side as well. But it doesn't necessarily have the walkway all the way around. You do have to go through some of the neighborhoods, but which is fine. I mean, they're all safe. You don't have any major streets within the neighborhoods. But as you guys can see, if you guys are looking to cross to the other side, which would be passing through Barranca, there's actually a bridge that crosses through there. Now, the other good thing about crossing through that bridge is that you have entertainment centers, shopping centers, coffee shops that you could actually stop along the way. If you guys are looking to go to the movie, get some coffee, you don't have to actually cross the street through the lights, I guess you could say. The, you could actually take the bridge, which is not only a walk path, but also a bike path as well. So you could go from one end all the way to the other side, cross to the San Diego Creek area, and then you'll get to the community uh, park uh, in Woodbridge, which is the Mike Ward Community Park. It also has a senior center in that park, but that's a really big park right in the middle between North Lake and South Lake that you guys actually can enjoy if you guys are just looking to hang out, play basketball, play tennis. I mean, they do really cover everything here, which is really awesome. If you guys are looking to take your dogs out, this area is really dog friendly. Now from there, guys, you could also, you know, once you're at the park and you're looking to get to the south uh, of the lake, you also have a bike path that actually takes you there. So what I love about that is the fact that you can actually take the bridge, the bike path or walk path that goes over Barranca, which Barranca is a major street and I'll get to that. And you can also cross the creek and Alton Parkway, which is another major street. But throughout this whole neighborhood of Woodbridge, you do have also medical facilities, you have banking areas, uh, you have, of course, the parks within those subdivided or subdivision neighborhoods that you could actually enjoy parks without actually going to the major park that sits between North Lake and South Lake. There's actually little parks around the area, and I believe there's up, up to 20 plus parks in this particular neighborhood that you could actually enjoy. And all of them are really family friendly, they're dog friendly, and a lot of people who purchase in this area do purchase it because of the schools, because of high ranked schools in this area, and is the only neighborhood in Irvine that actually has a lake in the middle. So something to think about if you guys like the water but are not looking to make that 10 minute drive to Newport Beach from uh, this particular area, uh, you do have the lake right smack in the middle of the neighborhood. Now I do have to talk about a little bit about the downside about this particular neighborhood as well which is where it's centrally located. It's right next to the 405, between the 405 and the 5 freeway. And it also is between a few major streets because Woodbridge is covered from uh, Cober to Irvine Center Drive to Jeffrey. And then in between those, you have Barranca and Alton Parkway, which tend to be a little bit of traffic areas. Uh, especially in the afternoons or evenings when people are getting off work because there's people who work in the uh, Irvine Spectrum area that Barranca actually leads straight to the Irvine Spectrum area so you are going to get traffic through that area those are major streets but like I said earlier what I do love about this particular neighborhood is the fact that they have bridges that cross over these streets so if you know your your kids are going to school or, or are at the park they don't necessarily have to take 
or cross the streets, they could actually go through the park areas and go through the bike bridges or walking bridges that they actually have access to from one side of Woodbridge to the other side. And they all cro and this crosses throughout the park areas, through the senior center. And that trail or bike path will actually lead you all the way to the University of Irvine as well, uh, University Park area, Turtle Rock area. So which is really great you have access to that. Well guys, I hope this video was really informative. It gave you a better idea in regards to the Woodbridge neighborhood. But if you guys are looking to relocate to the Irvine area and you guys are actually liking this particular neighborhood, reach out to me. I'm a real estate agent here in the Irvine Tustin area and I would love to help you guys out find the right property that fits your lifestyle. Or if you guys are interested in some of the other areas, I do have some other videos that are popping up here that actually will talk about some of the other neighborhoods, whether it be in Irvine or Tustin. Again, guys, my name is Richard. I'm a local real estate agent here in the Tustin, 